welcome to Dishing It. Woo! Kel, you ready to dish it? I am, and I love me some shrimp. Uh, yeah, because guess what we're making today? I'm going to say it the Italian way, and I want you to say it the American way. Okay. okay, ready? Okay. Today, we're making bruschetta, shrimp pasta. And here in America, we say bruschetta. <laughs> It's bruschetta. true. That's what we do. Well, when you go to an Italian restaurant, you say, I'd like an appetizer, I'd like the uh, bruschetta. Bruschetta. Which that's is what, what we're say. used to saying. Absolutely. However, we do I have... I country it just a little bit, because well, just fine. for the effect. That's, that's fine. Okay. The Italians in our office, in our studio, oh, yeah. always, like, Elisa Rafa is very good at saying, like, bruschetta. Parmigiano. Oh, Parmigiano. Bruschetta. That's what we're doing. It's everything she says with a good Italian accent. I know. Accent, you know. And she probably makes fun of us for trying to sound that way. <laughs> that way. But anyway. So today we are going to make this uh, bruschetta shrimp pasta. Yeah. Here is the recipe. Here's what it's going to look like in the skillet once we're done, Kelly. That's so good. And you know, I loved shopping yesterday. Very few ingredients. Yeah. Super easy to make. And again, you can make this tonight for dinner for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. I thought you were going to say for 20 people. For 20 people. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I did read some of the comments on the res this recipe. Uh -huh. And they were saying, as we get into it, I'll, read, I'll tell you some of the comments about how much pasta per sauce, okay. the ratio, and how much Very it will good. feed. So, by the way, we have our water heating up. Kelly, would you want to put a little salt in that water? Oh, I forgot to add some salt. You know, I wouldn't salt. mind. It's one of my fa favorite things to do. Yeah, just add um, salt. You know, I was noticing this recipe has... Um, uh, now, do you put oil in it too? Yeah. You uh, do. Oh, I can. Well, I, I, I don't you had it in your hand. Well, I was going to put it in that pan, but let me oh, put a little, okay. little oil to keep it from sticking. Right. Now, I am going to start heating this oil up, though. Okay, okay. I have that on. Dad, gum, I meant to turn that on. Well, that's on. okay. That's all right. That's all right. Um, you know, the angel hair pasta, I love it. I don't know what if it's, it's just the texture. When I order any kind of pasta, I like the little bitty noodles. I think it's thinner and it makes, I don't know, it's easier to eat, yeah, maybe. maybe. Yeah, I don't, maybe. It, I do love it, too. Okay, so it called for a tablespoon of olive oil. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna. I love it. Yeah. Why do we even keep these measuring why, sticks around? Why? Why you gotta? Well, do I had to put a little in there, so I'm That's gonna heat perfect. that up. Yeah, I'm so sorry we didn't have this on. Okay. What can I do to help? Now, if you would like to start cutting these tomatoes, okay. Per the recipe, I think they used the cherry tomatoes, and what they did, they just kind of cut them in half. All right. And it said to use. Let me check my recipe. I believe it said to use um, two cups chopped. Tomatoes. Okay. So I think that would be about two cups, I think, I once think you're done. I think that'll be just fine, minus, and minus the two that I've already eaten. Oh, did you really? I did. It. That's all right. Um, because, like I was saying with this, a lot of people online were saying this recipe, there was too much pasta, called for a pound of pasta. Oh. There was too much pasta for the other ingredients. Oh. So I say if we add a little bit more shrimp, a little bit more I tomatoes. I agree. Maybe it'll balance it. Yeah, because I don't want it, I, I like the flavors of, if you know, uh, that recipe right there looks like it was perfect balance with everything to Yes, me. and I don't know if that was Ooh, photoshopped. Was, yeah. <laughs> you know, to look good. Yeah. But it would definitely, some of the comments, another comment, Kelly, once mm -hmm. we get to the cream, remind me to tell you okay. about the heavy cream. Okay. Because a lot of people made some comments, and then somebody who was really smart came back with an even smarter comment. Oh, really? Yeah, it was really good. Well, if you're going to comment, it better be smart. It better All right. be smart. Now, this, this is for later, though. This is yes, not for you now. You just keep chopping that. Okay. I'm trying to heat up this oil. Here's what I did to save time also, Kelly. Uh -huh. Now, the recipe called for a pound of shrimp, I believe. Let me see how much how much shrimp. Uh, oh my goodness, where's, oh, one pound shrimp. Well, to take time for TV, I didn't want, I hate the tails. Oh no. They no. kept the tails on it, but I think it's they so much did. easier I to mean, eat. here's the thing. If you're gonna take the tail off eventually, why don't you just take it off and make it easier on everybody, right? That's what I'm saying. It, it, did you get the bubble gum shrimp? I did not, but guess what I got? Oh. I, so, so, for time reasons, I already got the peeled and the tail is already off. That's the kind I would get. And it was kind of already cooked, so all we have to really do is heat this up. Okay. Because I was making it easier. So if you're making this at home, why not yeah. make it easier for yourself? Absolutely. Okay, I'm gonna put these in here. So this recipe would be done in less than 30 minutes for your dinner. Yeah. If you'd like to, you know, do that tonight or? And I know we're gonna be adding some seasonings to this. I just gotta look and see what it is. I know it adds, see, now is this too? Oh. We're gonna have so much shrimp. Oh, I think that's okay. We're gonna have so much Extra shrimp. protein right there. That's good. Okay. That, that's a lot of shrimp. It is a lot of shrimp. But it is a lot of, it's a pound of shrimp, a pound of pasta. Yeah, yeah. It's a good ratio in I my th opinion. I think so too. Um, we're going to now add okay. the Italian seasoning, salt, and pepper on the shrimp. Okay. And I'll for the Italian seasoning, it calls for a teaspoon only. Do we want to measure that? It's up to you. What do you think? Do you just want to sprinkle it yes, on? Yes, okay. of course. I'm going to let you go for it. Now, what is in this Italian seasoning? It looks like there's parsley. Is there? I bet there is. I love the smell of Italian can seasoning. You, can you give that a stir? Let me see what yeah. it looks like. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, um, basil. Oh, there's basil Marjoram. Okay. Marjoram, yeah. 
uh, thyme, rosemary, mm -hmm. and oregano. Oh, well, that's very Italian sounding. Yes, it is. Do you want to add more? Or do you want to just add salt and pepper now? Maybe. What just do you think? A little more. Okay. <laughs> there we go. All right, and salt and pepper. That looks so good. It does, doesn't it? You know, some people, I feel bad for the people who are allergic to shellfish. Oh, I know. And you know what? That's an allergy that can kind of creep up on you. Uh, like, I know people who have not had that allergy, and then all of a sudden they do. That is crazy to me. Yeah. And pepper, too? Yes. A little pepper. Fresh, cracked pepper. You know, I love pepper. And, and this is pretty chunky. I like the chunky it flavor. It is nice. Do you put it on salad? When you um, I do sometimes. I forget most of the time. It looks like I'm putting out there more than I am, but it's, it's just this no. grinder. It takes it's a little good. bit to get in there. That, I think that, no, perfect. And That's guess good. what? If what? we feel it needs more, we're just going to add more. Of course, we can add that later. All right. Okay, let's You know, I shots. like to grow the sweet basil in the summertime. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh, it smells so delicious. I'm just looking at this basil, and it reminds me of having that. I know. I miss the, that's what I'm looking forward to about yeah. getting back to my garden. Yeah, absolutely. Now, here's the other thing, Kelly. Can you look on this bag of pasta and tell yeah. me how long it takes for this angel heart pasta to get to the al dente that we like? Okay, yeah. Because uh, we're going to add all of that. This water is almost ready. Oh, cooking instructions? Yeah. All right, so um, servings, one packet, no. Oh, one how full long? Package, right here. It is... Uh, where does it Where say? Where does it say time? Oh, oh, right here. Right. Oh, here's the al dente. Is uh, is that three minutes? Four minutes for oh, al dente. Four. Yes. Five for, for firm, firm, and six for tender. Okay. <laughs> what do you want to do? What? Honestly, I'm not crazy about. When you look at it this way, I mean, I'm not crazy about al dente. It's okay. Um, I would go with firm or tender, so five or six minutes. And you know what I could do? I have my what phone. I could set my timer so that we're actually accurate with it this time. You know, okay. sometimes we are loosey-goosey yeah. with the time, yeah. which you could be at home, you by the be. way. Yeah. And I can also throw it at the glass to see if it's done. You know how I love to do that. I know you do love to do that. Yes. Okay, I think this right. is, unfortunately, uh, the pre-cooked shrimp had a lot of water in it, oh, so it's kind well, of melted. See, I think it's just when it's frozen, it just has the extra water, yeah. has the ice. Now you tell me, is, is that boiling good enough, well enough, or how do you want to do this? What do you think? Let, let's look in this pot. Well, you know, I think so, but that's They say a watch pot never boils. I know. <laughs> and I'm just like, boil, boil. See those little bubbles coming up from the bottom? Yeah. I think that's boiling. But You it's know what? You know, no, you. I just thought of something. What? Have you heard the term rapid boil versus oh, a boil? Oh, yes. And it, I don't know. It, it doesn't say rapid boil. I said a large pot of salted boiling water. Okay. Okay, what if we add it so when we go to commercial, it's Let already cooking? Let me ask you this. Do yeah. you like to just put it in whole or do you like to break it? You do what you want. I don't care. Okay. She's breaking it. Oh! <gasps> Pasta's flying everywhere. Okay, all right. Lots more addition and when we come back, we'll be right, right back. I gotta make sure this doesn't overflow now. Yeah, it's good. Oh yeah, this is good. Oh, that's nice. You need help. Oh gosh, you're strong.